So I figured I'd make a quick video on the hydro testing derivation of 0.433 psi per foot, which if you've been in oil and gas, you've in hydro testing oil and gas, you've probably seen. So it's always 0 0.43. PSI per foot. And that's if you're doing hydro testing calculations. So basically how they derive this, if you remember from fluid dynamics, there's a pretty famous equation, pressure equals rho GH, where rho is the density of the fluid, G is the acceleration due to gravity and height is your uh, height of the water column. And most of the time this is in uh, metric units or SI units, but in pipeline industry we use uh, English units. So in English units that density of water is 62.4 pound and this is where it actually gets confusing. This is actually, this is not a mass density like it is in SI units. It's actually a force so you can actually get rid of the the G there. So it's 62.4 pounds force per cubic foot. And then since we only want it for one foot, we'll just add one foot right there. And you can cross out these. That turns into feet squared. So you're going to get 62.4 pound per square foot. But that's kind of useless to us since we use PSI, so we have to convert it to pounds per square inch. So one square foot is 12 times 12, which is 144 square inches. We can cross out those. So that's where they're getting that 0.43 from. You do 62.4 divided by 144 inches. And that's going to give you your pressure increase per foot of water. So 0.43 PSI per foot. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover. I'll probably start doing some more videos, especially on hydro testing here in the future. So if you guys want to see more content like this, uh, just like, comment, and subscribe.